Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Taking a walk around a Golden by Corn Pro, seven by 16 foot utility landscape series, 7,000 pound GVW trailer. Pretty much everything here you see is standard equipment. Again, it's a Golden by Corn Pro, seven by 16, 7,000 pound GVW. This is a heavyweight utility trailer. It's not our most common utility, but it's definitely a very well-built trailer. Get a fair amount of landscape contractors that are looking for something that will hold up to a higher duty cycle. This would definitely be the trailer that you would want to consider. So let's take a walk around it, show you all those features. Again, pretty much everything I see here is standard equipment. So first off, it's got the Demco Easy Latch Coupler System. If you're not familiar, it'll auto latch as you crank the jack down, put it on the ball. Uh, tongue on this is a four inch channel, which is pretty normal for the industry. It does have a raised coupler because this trailer sits pretty low. Typically you would, it would be different. You look at most utilities, you'll understand. But this unit sits very low, which is why you see a taller fender reveal, which is why you have the raised platform coupler. So behind the jack and coupler, you've got an integrated A-frame little chain tray. Uh, also your spare tire mount uh, in the A-frame as well. A lot of unique features you see on this one. Uh, tube top rail you see sometimes in the industry, but angle iron I would say is still most prevalent industry standard. Tube top's just gonna be stronger. Uh, you also notice you've got a tie down rail. Your wiring actually is concealed uh, in that as well. Neat setup, dual purpose. You also got built tight, built in tie down the front corner. Uh, you see the pin striping. Don't normally see that on your utilities. Uh, not only are the top rails tube, but the uprights are also going to be tube. Uh, that's kind of nice because you can tie down to the bottom of those. So built in, you've got, you know, 15 different places you can tie down. Uh, another nice feature you've got would be the fender uh, gussets, which also double as a running board style sidestep. Fenders are going to be a little bit heavier. Typically, you'd see a smooth fender. Sometimes the most economical ones will be a straight. This teardrop is going to make it stronger, but it's also just built out of a heavier gauge. Pretty much all the Corn Pro's fenders are at least a gauge or two heavier than most in the industry. Uh, also, same thing, you've got tread plate stone guard there. If you look at this tread plate, it's actually going to be a registered gauge. A lot of times tread plate on uh, stone guards of cargo trailers and that, it's so thin, it's actually called tread bright. It, it doesn't register as a gauge itself. Uh, radio tires, of course, standard equipment. Uh, 3,500 pound axles, braking axles, Dexter brand axles. So one of the other things I want to point out, your landscape trailers typically are going to have two by three angle iron frame. This is actually a three by five angle iron. Three by five is what you would see on most manufacturers, uh, 10,000 pound utility trailers. So pretty, pretty heavy duty for a 7K. Be great for that high duty cycle landscape type uh, user. Of course, standard pressure treated lumber on the floor. Now they do say this is number one kiln dried lumber. It's two by eight. Going back to the back, some more of the features that make this a, a nice unit. First of all, Typical utility trailers, they're not framed out like this. They don't have a bar going across. Um, if you look at the left side and then in the center, it's just reinforced a lot heavier. Of course, this is spring assist too, which is a nice upgrade. Cross members in the gate, there's more cross members. They're also made from tube, not angle iron. Of course, you got your handle on the gate to help it down. Simple pin system, look how heavy. Uh, it's plated out where the pin system is. Got your stop turn tail. Now, if it looks like the sides are higher on this, it's because they are higher on this. This has a drop axle, which lowers your trailer height by four inches. We said that about the coupler being higher up front. Uh, what it also means is your gate just has a lower angle. Awesome trailer for mowers because mowers like to catch right at the top of the gate. So having that four inch drop axle, uh, it lowers your deck height four inches. Typically, you're going to be about 20 inches or so on a utility. That four inches makes a big difference. And the beauty of doing it on the axles, uh, it effectively gives you a five-foot gate, essentially. Your typical trailer with a five-foot gate versus a 
drop axle trailer with a four foot gate measure about the same angle the difference is you don't have an extra foot of parachute hanging out back there and it just makes it nice to have a little bit shorter gate set up uh, one thing it's also not typical in the industry would be where your golden sticker is typically you just have your angle iron frame this actually has an under frame bridge underneath it behind the axles which is nice your wiring in your fender boxes is concealed in your conduit so again nice heavy duty design i probably pointed out a uh, good maybe 12 features chain tray demco coupler spare mount lots of tie downs most don't have the rub rail set up tube uprights top rail your drop axles a little bit better grade lumber higher sides lower deck height heavier fenders and tread plate gussets it's a lot of stuff going on in this trailer that make it a more you know commercial duty cycle type of unit uh, this is available in different lengths generally we'd stock this in a 14 16 and 18 foot tandem axle 7,000 pound and then an 18 and 20 foot 10,000 pound 10,000 pounder is pretty similar but there are a few differences for that extra you know 3,000 pound of uh, payload on it uh, this unit is about 2,010 pounds dry typical utility this size is going to weigh in at about 16 and a quarter to 17 and a half so you are picking up about 250 pound extra steel uh, 7,000 GVW minus the 2,000 pound empty is going to give you a 5,000 pound legal payload on the trailer then you're also going to pick up another give or take 15 percent on the coupler via the ball let me go back one thing i skipped over trailer does have brakes on both axles because it has brakes it is going to be a seven pin uh, rv blade style plug of course your safety change your breakaway harness and then it is a two and five sixteenth inch ball if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a shout at 717-220-4220 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.